and gentlemen, Mr. Errol Fabian. Thank you very much. Good evening, all. Good evening, Neil. Thank you very much for asking me to read. It is indeed a pleasure. All protocols observed. It's good to be here. <clears throat> Make sure the light is right. This reading is taken from a section of the book entitled People Out of Touch with Reality. I wonder why I was asked to read uh, this. I don't question things anymore. Here we go. <clears throat> There are certain things that some people do that make me wonder if they are really living in this world. I was brought up by my parents to always be polite to friends and strangers alike. I was taught to smile and say good morning or good evening and when you, to do this when you pass someone in the street. Another greeting that falls into that category is hello, how are you? The reply I truly expect when I utilize that last greeting is, fine, thank you, or some, something of the sort. What annoys me is when people who don't understand that the above is in, is in effect a rhetorical question. I'm really not interested in hearing <laughs> what you are right, that your arthritis is acting up, or that you have had a stomach pain for the last two weeks or that you have been to three doctors, none of whom have been able to help. For heaven's sake, it's merely a greeting and nothing else. Move on, go about your business, <laughs> and try to get your arthritis and your stomach pain cured without inflicting the details on me. There is another type of person who always annoys me. One must remember that for 11 years of my life, when I worked at TTT, I read the evening news on television. As a result, my face is not unknown to most people in Trinidad and Tobago, and very often I am approached by people in the street who wish to say hello, and I respect that and always try to be polite to them. Then, there are others who come up to me, greet me warmly and ask, do you remember me? <laughs> sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I recognize their faces, but do not remember their names. To avoid anyone feeling that I am snubbing them on the occasion that I don't really recall who they are, there's a standard answer that I tend to give, and that is, I remember your face, but not your name. Please remind me. There are other occasions when it is clear to me that I know the person very well and I just can't remember their name. And to give them the standard answer above would be something of an embarrassment. On these occasions, when the do you remember me question comes and I, I smile and reply, of course, many leave it there. <laughs> And you commence a conversation during which, on most occasions, you quickly figure out who they are. Then, the ones who drive me crazy, however, are those who follow up their initial question with, okay, if you say you remember me, <laughs> who am I? <laughs> I feel I could murder them. <laughs> There was once an incident that occurred, however, that, was, that had me quite amused. On returning from university, my first job was teaching at Holy Cross College in Arima. One of my friends on the teaching staff was Roy Alley, and almost every afternoon after classes ended, Roy and I would walk down from the college to the Arima Dial, where Roy would pick up a taxi to take him to his home. On many of those afternoons, we would step into Special Cafe, which was located on the southwestern corner of Queen Street and Broadway for a beverage or two. About 10 years ago, I was at the airport waiting for a flight when I was approached by a gentleman who smiled pleasantly and said, Hello, Mr. Giuseppe, how are you? 
Do you remember me? <laughs> I did not know him from Adam. And I doubted I had ever seen his face before. It must have been someone who recognized me from television, I thought. So I gave him my standard reply. I remember the face, but not the name. Do you remember Roy Ali? He added. <laughs> of course I do, was my reply. I met you once, he said. One afternoon, you and Roy were coming down from Holy Cross, and I met you both at a cafe by the dial in Arima, and we drank a beer together. I have absolutely no doubt that he was correct, but that was more than 30 years before, and there must have been hundreds of people with whom Roy and I had sipped a beverage by that cafe by the Arima dial. How on earth did he expect me to remember that, that isolated occurrence? I was at my brilliant best, however. Of course, I said. <laughs> How could I ever forget? We spoke for a while, and he left feeling very pleased that I had remembered him, and, took nothing, uh, and it took nothing away from me for having made his day. Oh dear, Neil Giuseppe. You're such a hypocrite. <laughs>